<clears throat> all right, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Harakak Wadash. I want to give double honor to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are fervently in the spirit, whose labors we have entered into. Right. Um, so essentially, I just want to go ahead uh, and start at this precept, and we're just going to build off of that. Because uh, today at camp, you know, me and Akim, you know, uh, basically we're going into the fact that, you know, uh, great tribulation is is definitely about to come, right? And ultimately, you know, those of us who trust in Yahweh Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, we're, we're we're trusting in the fact that the Heavenly Father Yahweh Shai is going to be there for us, and that's why you know brothers are moving so fervently, you know, because it's that faith that, that the Heavenly Father Yahweh Shai has blessed. And bestowed upon us pursuing the ephesians chapter 2 uh i believe that's the eighth verse right where it says that this um this this uh the faith that we have is actually a gift and it actually you know uh allows us to move with fear right and and, and to do the things that the heavenly father why yahweh shai requires of us so that way we can obtain and receive salvation by showing our faith you know showing that we believe in uh in, in, in these words right so I got this Revelation chapter three and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right. So pursuing to. Uh, so I'm going to read that. Right. So basically, essentially what this is saying is, all right, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. So basically what these scriptures say. Right. We're, we're, we're keeping the things that Yahweh Shai told us to do. Right. These laws, statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. Right being fervent in the spirit, being diligent to make our calling into this truth and uh, uh, making, uh, you know, being diligent to make our calling into this truth and, and, and election sure by, by showing forth diligence, man, right? So we're keeping the words that the heavenly father, you know, with all patience, right? It says, I also, so in return, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Because pursuing the Hebrew six and 10, the heavenly father is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love that we have showed uh, towards his name. And as long as we endure unto the end, and a part of us enduring unto the end is going through this hour of temptation, which as long as we've been putting in that work and doing what the Heavenly Father required, Heavenly Father, what Yahweh Shah requires of us, and all sincerity, right? Because you have to be in the right spirit. And the Heavenly Father, He's, you know, why Yahweh Shah, he, he, you know, He's a judge of the heart. He knows, you know, if you come in sincere or if you're not. And if you are, then, you know, of course, like Hebrews 6 and 10 says, you know, uh, um, He's not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love. Because ultimately, if the Heavenly Father is accepting your sacrifice, you know, uh, of course, he's going to, uh, uh, you know, reward you based on what you've been sowing to the spirit. Now, if you've been, you know, uh, doing four works and it's not in the right spirit, then it don't matter how much you do, you know, because then that sac sacrifice is not accepted. Right. So I'm going to go into that word. Right. It says for uh, it says uh, because I was kept the word. Right. So it says logos. Right. That's the uh, Greek word logos. Right. It says um Basically, it says a uh, word, the sayings of the heavenly father, the decrees, the mandates, so the laws, right? It says of moral precepts given by the heavenly father. So if you're keeping his precepts, right, his decrees, his mandates, his orders, his declarations, right, his sayings, what does it say? It also says his doctrine, right? If you go down to D, it says doctrine. You see what I'm saying? His teachings. So if we're keeping those things in all truth and sincerity and we're not straying away from the true teachings, the true doctrine, right, uh, of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? And we keep those words and you know in our in our hearts, which is goes back into that Hebrew word la, which means mind. We keep in those you know, his, his sayings in our minds. And then he's going to say, and, and we're actually putting forth not just being hearers of the word, but actually doers as well. The Heavenly Father is going to reward us by protecting us, you know, in, in, in these times to come. Right, because there's no way, no how pursuing it to the um let me grab this in the book of um second Samuel. I feel no, that's first Samuel, first Samuel. First Samuel chapter two and verse nine. Let me get this in the KJV. It says, um the Lord, so I'm, I'm gonna start at verse six. It says, How Adawan killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. How Adawan maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up, right? He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifts up the beggar from the dunghill. So meaning the heavenly father controls all of this. He makes a man poor. He makes a man rich. He kills a man. He keeps a man alive. Right. So it's all up to him. Right. It says um, to set a man among princes and to make them 
it heard the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are hot of wands and he set uh, the word upon them so this is the point verse 9 he keep, he will keep his feet he will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be in silent darkness for by strength shall no man prevail so the point is by your own strength you won't prevail at all right so there's no way no how no matter how many bullets no matter how, you know how, how much you got stockpiled if you're not showing to the spirit in the correct uh, uh, uh and, and being in the right spirit having your uh your your um uh, your sacrifice accepted by the heavenly father while you're outside then in no way shape or form are you going to make it man because that means that if the heavenly father is not even accepting your sacrifice then he ain't with you and if the heavenly father while you're outside ain't isn't with you then you're not going to make it you know so this is why we got to make sure we're in the right spirit right because we need Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So what do we have to do? We have to keep his words, right? And and, and going into it, where, uh, where it says word, it's the Greek word logos, which it says the sayings of the Heavenly Father, the, the, uh, the decrees, the mandates, the moral precepts. It says the precepts, right? The uh, the doctrine, the teachings, right? So we have to keep those things, right? So verse, I'm going to go to verse 11, Revelation 3 and 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou, which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. So meaning the faith that you've been blessed with, just proving that that the faith that you've been given, it, it, it's been uh, you have to you have to hold on to that, right, and not let it go. That no, uh, because at the end of that faith, you're going to receive a reward that Yahweh is going to give you based on what you've been putting in, right? And you don't want to let any man take that crown, right? Because like I like 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 I said, uh, pursuing to uh, it's like like the scripture says, pursuing uh, Ephesians two and eight. I'm gonna just grab it. Uh, Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? So it's a gift, that gift of faith that we've been blessed with, right? Because out of billions of people upon the world, right, you've been the one chosen to come into this ministry to be a partaker of this ministry, to understand what this truth is really about, right? Those of us who actually understand what we're involved in, right? That's a that's a that's a slim few. You know how it said, you know how they say in um in middle school or elementary school. Hey, you know, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a part of the NBA, right? I want, I want, I want to be, a, I want to be a basketball player like LeBron James. And they say, well, pick, pick something safe because the odds are against you. You see what I'm saying? Look at those odds, man. Look at those odds. Out of billions of people, you've been the one chosen to go out in the highways and bobbies or, 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 or whatever your particular lot is in this ministry, right? Because you don't have, not everybody's a teacher or a prophet, right? You have helps and different things like. But even the helps. Like that's that's a, that's a, that's slim pickings, right? You've been blessed to actually believe. You see what I'm saying? To be uh, for the heavenly Father to bestow that that gift of faith upon you. So you know, like it says right here, Revelation three and eleven. We'll read it again. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right? Verse twelve. Oh, that's a lot, yeah. Verse twelve. It says, uh, "Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power." Right. And he shall no go more, uh, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power, and the name of uh, of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power. And I will write upon him my new name. And it's not going to be a new name; it's just going to be refreshed. Uh, I think when it says uh, that new, let me see. I think it's talking about kainos, which means just simply just refreshed. Let me just go into. Let me see. Yup, yup, kinos, right? So basically it just says, uh, recently made, uh, basically it just goes into uh, refresh, like fresh, unused, right? Yeah, because the Heavenly Father's name isn't really used here. So <clears throat> basically it's not going to be new, uncommon, you see, uncommon, unheard of, right? So it's not saying that he's the Heavenly Father, why Yahweh is going to have a new name, no, it's, it's basically, you know, people haven't heard of that, that, that name. So basically it's going to be refreshed. You see what I'm saying? You know, something that, that hasn't been heard of because everybody calls the Heavenly Father by the wrong names here. And it's only been revealed unto a select, uh, select few. Right. But the point of the matter is going back to verse 10, because you have kept the word of the, uh, uh, of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that hour of temptation is coming fastly upon us. Right. It's coming fastly upon us. All right, so that's why we got to continue to keep the words and sayings of the heavenly Father while Yahweh so that way He's going to uh, He's going to protect us and provide for us and our households. You see what I'm saying? Because right here, um, 
Psalms chapter 34, verse 7, right? For those who keep the words and sayings of the Heavenly Father, that means that you fear him, right? That you have faith, right? Because the beginning of, uh, of faith and wisdom, right, is it, to fear the Heavenly Father, right? That's the beginning of wisdom, right? And it's a wise thing, you know, to, to, to fear the Heavenly Father. So Psalm chapter 34, verse 7, it says, The angel of Ha'adawan encamp around about them that fear him and delivereth them, Right? So because if you, you know, uh, 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 if you actually fear the Heavenly Father, you're going to do the things that he requires of you, man. Like, you know, because, you know, uh, as, a, as a good child, you're going to be obedient to your, to, to your father, right? And his sayings. And in doing so, that father, he's going to look at you in a favorable, favorable light and he's going to protect you, man. Though you and your household. And see, this is what a lot of guys got to understand. You know, we're not in this just for ourselves. You know, if you, if you, especially if you have a family, you see what I'm saying? If you have a family, you know, ultimately, they're not, well, their salvation is, is pretty much tied, tied around you as well. You see what I'm saying? You know, to a certain extent. Because if you look at the story of, uh, uh, not the story, but basically the history that involves uh, the man Achan that took that Babylonian garment and, and, you know, among some other things that the Heavenly Father told them not to take, right? When, 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 when Achan got punished, him and his children got put to death and his animals and whatnot. So you see what I'm saying? So if, say if that man did righteous, him and his family would have, uh, uh, you know, stayed alive. So I got this right here. So I write to the 27 verse three. It says, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of Hadawan, his house shall soon be overthrown. All right. So this is the point why we have to hold ourselves diligently in this ministry. Right. Because, you know, we're not only just in this for ourselves, but for those of us, who, uh, for those who pertain unto us, man. Right. And then ultimately, man, just because. You know, we 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 desire to please. You should be. You should desire to please the heavenly Father while you're Howard Shiloh and everything you got, man. All right. So you know, I'm. I, I feel like that's it. You know, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end off there. I feel like the point is made. You know, uh, definitely we have to we have to keep the sayings of the heavenly Father while you're shy. He's gonna be there for us. He's gonna protect us. But we gotta make sure we're 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 in the right spirit, sown to the spirit, not to the flesh, like it says in Galatians six. Uh, and uh, I believe that's verse eight. Right. So, you know, do the things that are pleasing unto the heavenly father. And, you know, he, he he's a righteous power, man. He's going to he's going to reward us for based on what we put in, man. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end off there. I'm going to give all glory, honor and praise unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Harakak Wadash. I want to give all glory, honor and praise unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Harakak Wadash. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Thumb to all you sincere hearted true believers, man. Shalom.